How's it going traders? Your boy TJ. I made over $70,000 trading on a prop firm account. Yes, making 30, 40K on buys as well, all in the free trading group. And yes, I was sort of over trading. It wasn't just two trades. You know, I was taking losses here and there, but I was keeping it organized. I look back on it now and I could have taken less trades and made 100K plus. But with this being said, I've walked away from the markets with a bonus plus. Yes, I've actually taken $70,000 from a prop firm. I get 80% profit split. So not as good as the Forex fund, the but nevertheless, it is still profit when profit's due. My simple strategy is price action. I look for the supply and demand zones, see where I can get in the market at the right time, and then boom, jump in. 20, 30 pips sells at a time, tight SL, high risk to reward, aiming for 100, 200 pips, so it's a five or 10 to one trade, and that is how I'll be making my money with trading gold. Like I said, all in the free Telegram group, you have gotta join up, link in description is absolutely free. I don't wanna make any money off you guys trading, and I do advise trading prop firms. Prop firms haven't been a thing for a while, you know, two years maybe, three years at the most, but not a lot of people in the industry know about prop firms until recently. This is something that's really made my trading become profitable. Before this, I was doing live accounts. You can look back on my videos, but I would deposit 5K, flip 5K into 15, take the 10K, bang, boom. Secure the profits, no more depositing, withdraw that, we go again. Prop firms, I invest, you know, 200, 500, thousand dollars into their firms, and what do I do? You go get funded, why? Because you can take it slow. Most challenges now, unlimited trading days. No need to over risk, no need to take, no need to rush the process. This is something that I've had to, over time, grow and develop my skills with trading and trading these firms. There is rules in place to make you fail, but rules also there to help you with your trading. It can make you actually trade better with the rules. And it's something that I've had to learn over time because my first ever withdrawal was 30, 40K. And recently I've been making nearly 200 plus K from the markets on these prop firms. And yes, you get payout. Yeah, they, they are legit but also you need to be careful of what prop firms to use. Some prop firms I've learned over the past that they have high spreads. They manipulate the slippage. They don't pay out. There's so many things to it. I'm not gonna say names. That's not what this video is about, but I wanted to share you guys my journey so far with Forex trading and how I'm making this sort of money. Obviously, initial investment is the first thing you have to look at when trading. In order to make the money I've made, I've had to invest into the industry. Now, I'm not gonna sit here and say I haven't lost thousands because I have. Have. But over the time of losing thousands, I have gained tens of hundreds of thousands of dollars from these companies. And it's all part of the process. You can never go zero to 100. I've learned from my mistakes of being 30K up on an account and then losing it all by over trading. That's why I made 70K and withdrew it. That's why I make 50K and withdraw it. I make 20K in one trade, I withdraw it. Keeping the funded account is much more important than making more, more, more money. I'll make it again in two weeks. A lot what prop firms have bi-weekly payouts, which is every two weeks. No need to rush. I'll make the profit, I'll buy another challenge account, and then we go again, because once I get my withdrawal, I get a refund from that actual company, and then I can reinvest that money back into the prop firm. It's something that a lot of people are able to pass these prop firm challenges. They're not hard to pass. For real, they're not hard. Go look at my free trading group. You will see the trades and the percent that we're hitting. If you look at the win to losses ratio, plus the risk to reward, you will see over time, within the weeks, within the two weeks or a month, I'm making more percent than I'm ever gonna lose. So therefore, it's an individual development that you have to have as an as a person where it's looking to see if you're over-risking too much, then you're never gonna be able to have that consistency with trading. And the consistency that you need is to use the same risk, the same lot size, the same SL and the same trading plan. Don't over trade. If, you, if there's a trade that you want to go in, go in for it. You don't have, you don't need f minimum, you know, twice a week. You don't really need that, but you need to have self confidence when you take these trades and you, you need to have some sort of understanding of price action, supply and demand zones, and market direction. Overall, market direction is the keyest thing in trading. What comes up must come down because it's going to retest. What comes down is going to come up at some point, but you got to understand the bearish market sells off and the bullish market staircases up. If you didn't even know that and you're trading Forex, now you know that and you've learned something in this video. Over time, I'm only 25, but I'm still making six figures from trading every other month now, which is which is crazy to say the least. And look, I'm upgrading my equipment. You know, I'm trying to level up my channel, which is leveling up my life, going to the gym, having discipline with routine. This isn't just about trading. This is everyday life. You know, sacrifice your weekends from when you go out with your mates and work. Sacrifice your weekends. Don't get drunk. Stay focused. 
list. Those are things that you can implement your day to day life to benefit your actual life, but your trading in general. You will learn a lot about yourself along the way, which is going to get you upset. There's going to be trades where you're sweating. Even myself, let me just speak about personal experience. When I'm in these trades, my, my mate can vouch for me who was there. I'm sweating, my palms are sweating. Even though I know where it's going, the psychology bit of trading is still difficult for myself. I'm not going to sit here and talk to you guys saying I've got it all locked and dialed in. Don't get me wrong, when I'm seeing a 30, 40 grand trade, I am scared. I Even though I'm in profit, I don't want to lose 20 grand. So I'm thinking, right, right, right. It's all, it's going to go up, down, up, down. It's going to try and play tricks with me. But I know this is the entry of the market where you get in and it's not going to retest back. And if it does, it's just one retest and then it goes and sells. So many emotional sides of it, psychology side of it, so many factors in trading. Even when you have that trade open and you see maybe minus, you know, 0.75%, you're thinking, ah, it's, it's done, I'm done. That's why you've got to just get in your trade, turn off your phone and go from there. And if the trade doesn't come in, it doesn't come in, you go again another time. But don't overwatch on your phone. It's one of the biggest cons in the industry where you're just watching the market up and down on your phone. It starts to play around with your emotions and everything like that in your head. And then you end up closing your trade. The trade comes in, you lose all that profit. Same vice versa. You're watching the trade. You move your SL a little bit further. Boom, you've lost more equity and then you're upset and annoying yourself. You're better off just setting a trade and then leaving it as that. And that's one of the biggest things that I've learned now where I sometimes even delete the funded account. I can't even lie. Just because I don't want to look at it. Okay, looking at it, I get emotionally drained from it. When I'm looking at a trade, I get so locked in and so dialed into this trade where I'm just constantly every every few every few seconds watching it. I'm on the one minute time frame thinking, what am I doing with myself? And of course, then you start overthinking it. Oh, is it gonna go? Is it actually gonna retrace back and then go and you could close it, enter in a different position, which is the opposite way, and then boom, you're down more percent, but your trade actually did come in. So many factors into trading that I'm learning every single day and I want to talk about my experience with you guys. Hopefully you can take some knowledge from what I've just said and yeah, join up my free Telegram group. Links in the description. For sure, I'm changing my life right now and I appreciate everyone support, supporting me and I hope I can get you guys funded with my free training group and also learning from my mistakes. Trust me, things do take time. Patience is key. Those who wait receive rewards and it's the very, very true. Those who work for nothing will receive rewards in the future. Just because you're not making money now doesn't mean in 12 months time you won't make money from these prop firms. But remember, them big payouts that you are going to get, all of that time where you weren't making money, it pays off for that. And that's exactly how I've looked at it and that is how I go on my force it will be future with any sort of workload. I'm going to see a reward at some point. You just got to stick at it and not give up. I hope this has helped you. I will jump on the charts on the next video so I can show you some back test analysis. But if I'm honest, the free training group, I'll post stuff in there starting from today to help you guys learn how to trade the way I trade. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.